So, will it be a good idea to replace trolleybuses in Center City Moscow for a buses? I don't think it would be. I think this is quite surprising. This is a, it was not done so abruptly even in the worst times when they were closing many, many tramways and trolleybuses. Uh, but uh, now the attitude towards those modes has changed. It is very positive and it's strongly emphasized by environmental re requirements and livability of cities. So it's, uh, it's quite uh, non-typical for this time and it, I don't see any rationale behind it. I see no, no serious problems with the trolley buses. I see there are many advantages over buses and I see that the trend is going not from electric to diesel but from uh, diesel to electric and electric into uh, re redesigned and further improved electric which can operate with wires or with, without wires and be charged easily. They bring different arguments for this uh, decision. So I will read a couple of them and uh, would like to hear your reaction for that. First, Mr. Liksutov, head of the Department of Transportation, says, so the vice mayor says that the a network is very old and especially uh, certain parts of the network, switches and stuff, are very old. And this is very expensive to renovate it. So it is much cheaper and faster to switch to buses. What do you think about this? Well, uh, first of all, I have heard uh, information from people familiar with the Russian, with the Moscow system, that do not confirm with that, that the set is in very bad condition. So I don't think that is uh, very correct. And uh, what I saw in the streets was not some major problems that, uh, that there are stoppages of traffic and so on. Um, second, uh, if you, the, the main question is not what should be done now at this moment. The question is which city, which uh, mode of transportation is superior for the future. And if, uh, if uh, say trolleybuses are superior for the future, then that justifies maintaining and investing in that. But just because they are old is not sufficient reason to say we will change the mode of transportation. They also sometimes say that diesel buses is the future. This is the more, more this is more modern and trolley buses. This is old style, some Soviet stuff that only we have and nobody else in the world have. So we need to go forward to more modern diesel buses. That's what they say. What do you think about it? Well, diesel buses are getting improved, but on the other hand, there is a strong movement to not use diesel buses at all in the future, but to go for various hybrids or various forms of uh, all electric buses. Diesel buses is not the future and it's not more modern than trolley buses. A number of cities have adopted, made a decision that they will not buy any diesel buses after 2015, 2020, 2025 including Paris and Brussels and Oslo and so on. So uh, certainly the basic diesel buses are not a thing of the future, no. Евгений Михайлов, head of Moscow Trans. В 10 раз больше стрессарей, в 10 раз больше человека часов требуется для обслуживания одного троллейбуса, чем одного автобуса. Поэтому просто когда мифы говорят, что троллейбус дешевле, это миф. При том, что сам троллейбус стоит дороже на 30%, там на 40% новый, чем автобус. My experience over several decades is that trolleybuses, electric vehicles, are much simpler to maintain than diesels. And you can go to any bus shop and you will see huge difference if it's electric or if it is diesel. In, uh, Railways, we had steam engines and that was very dirty. Then came diesels, it was much cleaner. Electric is totally much, much cleaner than diesel locomotives. Yeah, and the same, is, the same is with bus and trolleybus. You but go this is about maintenance. Uh, maintenance, difficulty to repair it in case of... 
sophistication of well the of fact the fact is the trolley bus lasts 50% longer time than the bus and the fact is that the bus of 10 or 12 years is getting to be aging shaky not attractive and so on trolley bus can go much longer electric traction lasts much longer than diesel engines there is no discussion about it that's a fact У меня вопрос, я хочу процитировать одного из известных российских экспертов, Михаила Блинкина, с аргументацией, с которой он выступает против троллейбуса в телевидении и на многих СМИ. Вот его цитата. Троллейбус, если он работает в общем потоке транспортных средств, является экологически опасным видом транспорта. Понятно, что он электрический, и у него нет выхода. Но количество разгонов и торможений участников движения, маневрирующих вокруг медленно едущего троллейбуса, порождает не очень приятные экологические последствия. И вот господин Блинкин постоянно утверждает, что автобус экологически лучше, чем троллейбус. Что вы об этом думаете? I'm a very good friend of uh, Mikhail Blinken, and we agree in nearly everything. But I totally disagree with this. The trolleybus does not cause more environmental problems. The trolleybus is environmentally friendly mode. And you have done it, you had the argument that the trolleybus is less environmentally friendly. It's just opposite. Among many books about traction of vehicles, you can have a look at one of my books where I clearly say that electric traction is superior because it creates much faster acceleration. It, it, uh, it is not slower than a bus at all. Uh, to, to say yes, if it goes through switches, sometimes it has to slow down. That is true. But uh, pure motor performance uh, is, is much superior to the engine. And then each engine is used also for braking the vehicle, which diesel does with considerable noise and vibration. A braking of uh, electric vehicles used to generate electricity and heat the vehicle. But now, the modern vehicles have so-called chopper control of ele electronic control of motors, and therefore can generate and re return the power into the network. So that uh, electric vehicles, be they metro vehicles or, or tramway or, or uh, trolleybus, they're uh, power consumption has been significantly re reduced, somewhere 20, 30, 40 percent reduced in recent years. Plus, buses very often, first of all, their engines are running continuously. So during the stops when passengers are boarding, the engine is running. Then even at terminals, it's a big problem sometimes. Neighbors complain that these engines of buses which are waiting for three or five or ten minutes are continuously noisy and producing uh, pollution. Uh, electric motor is switched off and it does not produce anything. E even if it moves or not, it does not produce any pollution at the place where trolleybus is. So what do you think about this argument that trolleybus is less environmental friendly than a bus? No, that's opposite to the facts. Absolutely. And the theory that uh, Mr. Blinken brought that uh, this is less environmental friendly because of other cars. I asked him to provide some proof or anything. Did you heard about any claims like this before, any theory like this? Can it, can it have a basis? I don't know. That is... Uh, I don't know what he means by that because that has never been a problem uh, uh -huh. anywhere. That has never been... Uh, I've analyzed, for example, in Athens, Greece, where they have trolley buses where they pass each other in the station and the wire allows them to overtake each other. And uh, in Philadelphia, we have local line and, and express line. Uh, we, you have here very complicated intersections and so on. And, uh, uh, and trolley bus 
is easier to accelerate and decelerate uh, and pff, take for example any any uh, steep street and I've observed them on some streets uh, the diesel bus can with great noise and smoke climb up maybe 10 15 percent very extremes trolleybus can come and quietly accelerate as much as as the wheels uh, take it without spinning so demonstration of that acceleration is very drastic in hilly cities and I've done I've observed that many times последний троллейбус и так далее, и так далее, да, Куджава, вот, но, судя по мировым трендам, если это едет по асфальту, то привязывать к контактной сети при нынешней прогрессе двигателестроения в области электричества, там, газа, всего на свете, ну, это чистейшей воды архаика, чистейшей воды архаика, автобусы будущего, значит, они либо электробусы, либо двигатели с использованием жиженного или компримированного природного газа, вот либо какие-нибудь гибриды, сказать, самые, у него газы дизельные или у него электрическое газовые и так далее for every charging of the batteries uh, that was expected within five years for the last about 40 years. That was always expected. Progress has been made but there are no models which can fully uh, uh, compare, uh, have such full uh, performance. Uh, but his statement that in five years we may not be using or that may be replaced by something else may have a point but the way would not be to abandon trolley buses it would be opposite let's keep trolley buses and they can the main network you give is an excellent asset that you can gradually uh, increase the line lengths uh, where, where trolley contact is not necessary, that we can provide more and more charging stations which are somewhat expensive. Now you, you have the whole network, you can easily provide those stations. So that transition to that kind of electric bus is certainly, um, it, it, it will be much easier if it happens if you have a trolleybus system than if you don't. But you would not go now back to diesel and then from diesel to something third. It's a, it's a wrong way. Okay. Um, also, uh, Blinken also says that trolleybus is something old. This is something from the Soviet Union because 70% of all the trolleybus systems in the world now in former Soviet Union republics. So this is something old and Soviet and not something modern and uh, we should not worry about it. Well, what does that mean, modern? I, I don't know what's the meaning of that, but that argument was used for tramways when they were replaced from many cities and it was a recognized mistake because now tramways are also being built in does in over a hundred cities in the last 20-30 years. New tramways were built at a much higher cost but they because they are uh, because of their excellent performance and they have an impact, positive impact on cities rather than negative. So uh, and not as drastic but similar things has happened with trolley buses that, uh, that they were replaced in many places, but now the cities that have them uh, have upgraded them very recently. Another thing, uh, Director of Moscow Trans, Evgeny Mikhailov, saying that there is no good manufacturer of trolley buses. So it is no possible to buy good trolley bus. So we need to get rid of it because bus is easy to buy. 
the fact of what, what vehicles are on the market should not affect the choice of the vehicle because you are not buying vehicle for present only, you are buying it for decade or two or three uh, later. And really, if you didn't have a factory that produces good metro cars, would you consider closing Moscow Metro? I mean, that, that's a different thing and it really, it's not true that there are no modern bu trolley buses. I can give you, you know, dozens of cities where you can go and go to Switzerland. If anything is up to date, it's Switzerland, find them there. Even in Russia, we still have these huge factories that Z we used to build with Zeal. Yes, yes. And uh, in Belgrade, in Serbia, there was a time when network was fairly, trolleybus network was fairly extensive. And then came this, let's simplify and uh, let's have only two mode of transportation and so on. And they closed some of the lines. Mm -hmm. And then came the environmental element and favoring transit element and so on. And now they have rebuilt and re-expanded trolleybus and bought very modern trolleybuses from Belarus, uh, which really are running on the center city lines very quietly and very popular. Mm -hmm. Another thing that climbs the director of Moscow Trans, Evgeny Mikhailov, the trolleybus is not flexible, it's not, does not have enough maneuver, so he cannot pass around a propka or a parked car. So this leads to its immobility of this uh, mode of transportation. So we should switch to buses that can easily go. Buses have been adopted in many cities because of their flexibility. And the experience is that we do not want flexibility in order to mix buses with cars. That's the downfall of buses. So every bus line, bus lines of course when they operate on lightly traveled routes, bus is optimal, absolutely. Diesel bus is optimal. But if you have a heavily traveled line, then you don't want it mixed with other traffic. And mixing, going from tramways separated from traffic to buses in uh, mixed traffic has been a disaster and a huge loss of passengers and cities which have progressed, which wanted to favor public transportation, have gone for light rail and now the whole movement of BRT is based on copying non-flexibility of rail systems. If, if you can describe in, in a couple of words what, how, what it would be if they would change the trolleybus to a bus? Well, you would, uh, you would decrease the image that Moscow has and many people like trolleybuses in Russia, not only those who live in Russia, but also who visit Russia. It's a symbol of the city. Uh, uh, there would be some loss of passengers, which always happens if you go from trolleybus to bus. People prefer to know where the lines are going. Uh, you would, uh, in some intersections, it may be easier to route them around and so on. But in others, um, uh, if you would eliminate trolley buses, you would have more difficulty separating public transport from cars. Mm -hmm. More difficulty. And finally, you would end up with much more noise and exhaust. Mm -hmm. There's still a fact. I've, I keep listening in the last 20 years, are these buses getting quieter? And there are some quiet buses, but average bus is still not quiet. And it is uh, running even at stops and even at terminals at all times. So it's a major step backwards. Major step backwards with respect to noise, with respect to exhaust, and with respect to environment. It's the cities that are really have decided not to buy more buses, compute that they will decrease, say, 20% of, of uh, CO2 and, and, and various gases that are produced. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Moscow going against the world trend. Well, if, if, if so many cities have officially decided not to buy diesel buses anymore, 
and uh, with expectation of some going toward electric, absolutely. Uh, then if you have already electric and trolleybus, modern trolleybuses are not only with power, they all have capability to go certain distances and that distances will be increasing, I expect, as the uh, technology improves, that uh, uh, such, uh, such trolleybuses will be logical step toward that solution while uh, going now to diesels when other cities are not doing, which means we would go to where those cities were 10 or 20 years ago and have uh, no infrastructure that is now existing on trolleybus network.